To create uniform stitching on the two sides of the buttonhole, you can adjust it with the buttonhole fine adjusting screw. If the stitching is too loose on the right side, use a screwdriver to turn the buttonhole fine adjusting screw in the minus direction. If the stitching is too tight, turn the screw in the plus direction. Let's try sewing on a button. To sew on a button, you need to use the button sewing foot, M. First, measure the distance between the buttonholes. Take a look at the table on the operation manual and set the pattern selection dial to the zigzag stitch. Remove the power supply plug from the jack of the machine and attach the button sewing foot. Attach the darning plate so that the fabric does not move forward. To attach the darning plate, align the hole of the needle plate with the tab of the darning plate. Connect the power supply plug into the jack of the machine and turn the main power switch on. Set a button between the button sewing foot and the fabric. Check the hole length by turning the hand wheel toward you. Start the machine and sew the fabric. To prevent the thread from loosening, pull the upper thread to the back side of the fabric and tie it with the lower thread. Now let's take a look at the zipper insertion method. For zipper insertion, use zipper foot I. Select straight stitch, center needle position on the pattern selection dial. To sew the right side of the zipper, set the presser foot on the left side pin. To sew the left side of the zipper, Set the presser foot on the right side pin. Let's take a look at how to change the needle. Before replacing the needle, make sure to turn off the sewing machine. Turn the hand wheel toward you to raise the needle to its highest position. Remove the presser foot and lower the presser foot lever. Hold the needle with your left hand. Turn the screwdriver with your right hand to loosen the needle clamp screw and remove the needle. With the flat side of the needle toward the back of the machine, put the needle in until it touches the needle stopper. While holding the needle with your left hand, use the screwdriver with your right hand to tighten the clamp screw. Now, let's take a look at cleaning and oiling methods. Make sure you switch the machine off and remove the power supply plug before you begin. With the presser foot, the needle, and the presser foot holder removed, remove the needle plate by using a screwdriver or coin.
use a cleaning brush or a vacuum cleaner to remove any dust. Next, remove the flatbed attachment, open the shuttle cover, and remove the bobbin case. Slide and open the latch levers to remove the retaining ring and hook. Using a brush, clean the dust and lint in the shuttle race. Then, take a cloth dampened with machine oil to wipe the retaining ring and hook. Before reassembly, put two to three drops of oil on the race in the shuttle race. To oil the moving parts of the sewing machine, loosen the screw on the back of the machine to remove the face plate. Put two to three drops of oil at each of the points. After oiling, be sure to make a trial run. This sewing machine enables you to use a variety of applications, including garment construction, quilting, decorative stitches, and heirloom stitches. Free arm sewing is also possible if you remove the flat bed attachment. Please enjoy sewing with your new brother sewing machine. Thank you for buying a Brother Sewing Machine. This DVD is designed to give you an overview of the machine operation in line with the operation manual. Please note that some descriptions may not apply to the specifications of your model. Now, let's get the machine ready for use. Connect the power cord plug equipped with the foot controller into the jack on the right side of the machine. Insert the power supply plug into the wall outlet. Turn the main power switch on. The sewing lamp will come on. Now, let's take a look at how to set the bobbin winder and the lower thread. Only use the bobbin that has been designed for this sewing machine. Use of bobbins from older models may cause injury or damage to the machine. Pull out the spool pin fully and insert the spool of thread for the lower thread onto the spool pin. Pass the thread from the front to the back around the pretension disc that is found on the upper left side of the machine. Pass the end of the thread through the hole on the bobbin from the inside of the bobbin and pull just long enough. Put the bobbin onto the bobbin winder shaft and align the groove of the bobbin with the spring on the bobbin winder shaft. Next. Slide the shaft to the right until you hear the click sound. Turn the main power switch on. While gently holding the thread from the bobbin, press the foot controller down lightly. Wind the thread around the bobbin a few times and then stop the machine. Trim the excess thread above the bobbin with a pair of scissors. 
check that the thread is properly wound in the bobbin. Wind the thread again by pressing the foot controller down fully. When the bobbin is full, the bobbin starts to turn slowly. Take your foot off the foot controller to stop the machine. Cut the thread with a pair of scissors, slide the bobbin winder shaft to the left, and remove the bobbin. Now, let's set the lower thread. First, turn the main power switch off. Raise the needle by turning the hand wheel toward you and raise the presser foot lever. Remove the flatbed attachment and open the shuttle cover towards you. Fully open the bobbin case latch and remove the bobbin case from the machine. Put the bobbin into the bobbin case so that the thread is wound clockwise. Pass the thread through the slit under the tension spring. Unwind about 10 centimeters of thread from the bobbin. Open the bobbin case latch completely and fully insert the bobbin case with the bobbin case finger turning upward. Make sure that the bobbin case finger fits into the notch at the top of the shuttle race. Replace the shuttle cover and attach the flatbed attachment. Now you've completed the setting of the lower thread. Now let's take a look at how to set the upper thread. Turn the main power switch off and raise the presser foot lever. Raise the needle by turning the hand wheel towards you. Pull up the spool pin fully and insert the spool of thread for the upper thread so that the end of the thread comes out towards you. Hold the thread from the spool of thread. Pass the thread from below toward you onto the thread guide at the top of the machine. Pull the thread down and around the upper tension control dial from the right to the left so the thread picks up the thread check spring. Holding the thread in your left hand, put the thread behind the needle bar thread guide above the needle. Lower the presser foot and thread the needle. While gently holding the end of the thread, raise the presser foot and slowly turn the hand wheel towards you once to raise the needle. Pull on the upper thread and the lower thread will come out. Pull out the thread with your fingers. Put the upper thread and the lower thread under the presser foot and pull out 15 centimeters of thread toward the back of the sewing machine. You've now completed the setting of the upper thread. Now, let's start sewing. Turn the main power switch on and select a pattern on the pattern selection dial. Raise the needle and the presser foot to set the fabric.